So in this one here, what we want to do is take a look at first the color we have. I think that this is still a little too over the top, so no problem. We're just going to take this um, background, colorful background layer, and we just need to change it up a little bit. So we're going to go to the fill, and uh, let's take it down see what it looks like. Yeah, just a little bit downwards like that, just a little bit. Okay, so it's like in the 60s, 70s, somewhere around there. All right, and what we want to do is get all these layers um, up into its own layer. So if we take these and I highlight all of them, um, as long well, I don't have to highlight them. One of the things you can do is, as long as the background layer is not on, what we can do is uh, this little quick shortcut, which is you mash all your modifier keys and hit E. So Control Alt Shift and E, and you get a duplicate of the whole layer, and you can see that everything's coming through. Now, I don't need these right now anymore, so I'm going to just turn those off for now, and then you can see them back on the background layer and see how this is looking. All right, so this one here, this layer three, I'm going to go ahead and call it um, new face. All right. And on this new face, what I want to do is mask it into existence. Um, let's see. To mask it into existence, I want to use very selective um, brushes. And I want to start with an alt mask. But because I, I won't know where I'm looking here, I'm going to bring out some guides. So I'm going to do view rulers here just to make them easier to pull out. And put one at the top of his head. One at his eyes, one at his mouth, uh, right down the middle here. So I know where his image should be ending as I'm masking it into existence. It's just um, kind of helpful. So now I can hold down Alt and tap the new mask icon, and he's gone. So I know that his head uh, is right in here, and that his eyes are right over here. So I can go to my brush tool and I want to find one of those brushes um, that are, let me see here, some of these cool yeah, splatter brushes. And I'm going to take the size down a whole bunch, All right? Let's see here. Yeah. And as I'm doing this, I probably need to have my brush panel ready to go. So. I'm going to take my brush panel and I'm just going to put it over here so I can see it. And I'm going to be changing my direction of my stroke. You know, if you have a, a pen, you can switch that up yourself, but I'm going to just do it here with the um, uh, brush panel. So I'm going to paint some white on the mask to reveal in, for example, an eye. Uh, I might rotate this and get another one over here so you can kind of see how that's coming in and I want to uh, rotate this a lot and see if I can maybe squish it so you see it's a bunch of splatters that are creating this and I'm gonna switch to other brushes while I'm doing this uh, this one here wow it's pretty busy let's see how it looks and you're just doing this kind of one stroke at a time trying to see if you can fit something in. You don't want to just hold down your brush because then you start to get these tire tracks coming in and you definitely don't want that. Let's see. Mm, got some more up here. Yeah, I like that one. Make that smaller. Yeah, and some of these we'll end up bringing back in on our own, but you're just kind of painting back into existence his face or whoever's face, and you want to do it so that there's enough that shows up. So start with having a few of these and then what you want to do is definitely get some in that are more of a more of an obvious piece to 
we'll rotate this again here. No, we'll rotate it even more. Let's see. Yeah, like that. All right, so you want to definitely have them mixing together. Now, uh, as you bring these in, you're going to notice that some of these are, are going to disappear. I want you to see some of the things you can do with this. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to rotate this one. And you can kind of see how that's coming up and rotate it back this way. All right, and down. Let's see, like this. All right, and so you get all these coming in, and you also want to be using your uh, 142 brush that we worked on before, and make sure that it's uh, set up. And there we go. All right. Let's see how that's looking. All right. So a little bit of, of that one coming in to, to bring in stuff. So you want to have a mixture of splatter to where the, the, ob the person or the object disappears and kind of comes into existence. Um, definitely switch back and forth between these the whole time. Um, some of these are going to be better than others and let's rotate that one this one here I think would make a good shoulder so I'm going to let that come down to be a shoulder and then we'll rotate it the other way and let it come down and be this shoulder here and rotate a little more let's see yeah so you can kind of see how that's just making it come into existence um, take this one down a lot of stamping basically stamp these things into existence all right and let's see yeah yeah I like that one a lot let's put that up in the hair a lot oh see I don't like that because it's the two of the same um, brush strokes in a row so we'll step backward on that and make it bigger maybe rotate and do it again see how that see how that would work okay rotate some more so you can see how that's going and you just basically want to bounce around your picture bringing it back into existence i don't think i need my guides anymore so we'll go ahead and turn those off uh, maybe even turn off the rulers while I'm at it. All right, so he's looking pretty good. Um, part of it probably needs to get some more detail. No problem. If the, if you get to this point where you're like, I don't know what to do next, um, just go back and get one of your original brushes and see if you can uh, maybe put a color behind things. Okay, so like I could put this uh, splatter here. Um, I'll make it just a little smaller here. You can kind of see how that's bringing parts in, um, and that looks cool. Uh, so what I want to do is is definitely get more of his cheeks showing up, and then what I need to do is go underneath him. So I'm going to bring up my layers panel here, and on top of the background, so I'm going to make a new layer on top. I'm going to call this one uh, splatters. And what we want to do is get some of these same colors we've been working with. Okay, and bring them in behind some of these things. So you can kind of see if it comes in and covers up parts, not a big deal. We can always mask it out. Uh, if we don't like something, let's uh, switch to a different one here and let's see which way it goes. Let's see. Rotate it. All right, and we'll switch to another color so you can see how that's splattering behind and this one here we will probably go with a more neutral color so you can kind of see how that splatters over there and then let's go some more over this way I don't like that color let's undo that 
and get a uh, maybe a bluish color. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll complement that up here. And yeah. So I'm liking this. I think I need to definitely switch with some other ones. Let's see what else we have here. Um, maybe get a. Let's see here. Let's do one with a. Let's do one with a um, a brown in it down here. Yeah, that's good. All right, and then you're just gonna go back and use your uh, maybe 142 brush and get it to bring out anything that's not working good. So like, we'll go back to our our mask on our new face here and white, and we'll just kind of reveal some things because I think. It's a little too far off over there. Maybe a little too much color coming in over there. And I definitely need some more hair. And then we can even make another text or another uh, layer for the hair. Let's see here. And we'll use our number 14 brush. and paint that into existence just using some lines as well and maybe we'll put some splatters up there as well so let's um, let's get some more splatter brushes see what we can find up there I like this one and we'll pick a color that's right like that and we will paint on this layer, let's see, right on top of everything. Let's see. And my brushes turn off that texture. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. And some other Yeah, I like that one. I'm just trying to see if I can get this to move the way I want it to. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So you can see it kind of follows the contour of his hair. Um, and maybe we'll do one on the other side as well. Yeah. And then we just need, I don't know, let's see, uh, a brush set. Yeah, it can just kind of splatter behind everything. One last one. Let's see here. Go down to the splatters layer and definitely rotate this brush around. Check that spacing. Yeah, like something like that. Yeah. So a lot of checking of your brush. Uh, let's get a, let's see, mm, I don't like that color, let's get a color from the image, mm, let's put on the splatters layer, there we go, all right, and then we'll, zoom out and take a look at how that looks now there's some other things I want you to be aware of one of the things you can do is uh, you could stop right here and say hey we're done this is it we look good but I also want you to see that there is another um, optional ending for this and so what I want to do is save it right here and come back to it and show you how to create um, almost like some layered dimension to this uh, and we'll show you that in the flip side.